Tokyo's train system is efficient and extensive, and it's the most common transportation you might use to get around Tokyo. But Tokyo has several different train companies, and that might be confusing first. So today, I'll explain about the basic train system of Tokyo and the train that is convenient for you. After watching this video, you'll master the basics of Tokyo's train system and maps. The train company you see all over Japan is JR. JR is a former National Japan Railway and runs mainly above ground or elevated tracks in Tokyo. In Tokyo and East Japan area, it's called JR East. Major lines you might use in the city is JR Yamanote Line, which is colored light green and forming a big circle in Tokyo. The most of the major terminals in Tokyo is on this Yamanote Line, except Asakusa. And other lines you might use are Chuo Sob Line, which is yellow, and Chuo Line, which is orange, going to Tokyo Station. Each of the line has a different platforms, and the sign of platform is all in line's color, so it's easy to find. Only thing is not to take the wrong direction. JR also has long distance trains to suburbs. And the route you might use is Yokosuka Line or Shonan Shinjuku Line that goes to Kamakura and also Chuo Line's long distance trains to go to Mount Fuji or Southern Nagano regions. Some long distance train has double deck cars like this, but do not get on this one because you need an extra ticket for the seat, no matter how short your ride is. Another train you might use often is subways. There are two subway companies in Tokyo, and one is Tokyo Metro, which has Ginza Line, Manochi Line, and some other routes. Another one is Toe, which means Tokyo Government Company. They have four routes. Probably you might use Asakusa Line as it's part of Airport Express route, which connects Narita Airport and Haneda Airport. Another line you might use is Oedo Line, which makes a big loop from underground of Tokyo government building in Shinjuku to all the way to downtown in the east. Private railways mean the train routes that is owned and operated by private companies. Most of them have the big terminals near JR Yamanote line and extend their route to suburbs. Tourists also have lots of opportunity to use them. It might be interesting to see how each of the line is different. Here are some private railways that is convenient for tourists too. Odakyu has its rail network towards west from their terminal in Shinjuku. And Odakyu runs a special train called Romance Car that goes to Hakone, a popular hot spring area. Right next to the Odakyu's terminal, you will see Keio Terminal. It's very much a commuter railway that takes you to Tokyo's suburbs, but it has some tourist spots such as Mount Takao and Tamazu. Tobu has its main terminal in Asakusa, the only line that is not connected with JR Yamanote line. They have a special train called Spacia and Liberty going to Nikko and Kinugawa Hot Springs which is about 3 hours north of Tokyo. They are introducing new train Spacia X to Nikko in 2023. Tobu also built Tokyo Skytree, which has the highest observation deck in Tokyo. Another private railway you might use is Keisei. Keisei runs Skyliner that is connect Naita Airport and Ueno Station. Since Ueno Station is a little far from JR platforms, people get on and off at Nippori Station as the Skyliner stops right next to the JR Yamate Line's platform. KQ takes you from Shinagawa Station to Haneda Airport in the south of Tokyo. Haneda also has Tokyo Monorail, so you can decide which to take, depends on where you go. Shinkansen, also called bullet train in English, are served by JR and take you to the other parts of Japan. In Tokyo, you can get on them from Tokyo Station. It uses completely different railways from other commuter trains or long-distance JR trains. 
and there is a special gate for the platform. And again, there are two different Shinkansen companies in Tokyo Station. The train going to Kyoto, Osaka, and Fukuoka in the west is called Tokaido Shinkansen, and it's owned by JR Tokai, which is also called Central Japan Railway in English. It also stops at Shinagawa Station. And Shinkansen heading towards north, such as Tohoku regions, Hokkaido, Niigata, and Kanazawa are operated by JR East. It also stops at Ueno Station, so you can get on from there too. So now you know there are several different types of trains in Tokyo. The inconvenient truth is, each of them has a different gate and different ticket system. You need different tickets if you transfer between two companies, and that applies to two subway companies too. Most of the cases, you don't have to worry about the ticket if you have IC card, which you can use for any trains of any companies in Tokyo. In Tokyo, the IC card is called either Suica or Passport. It's all the same, but if you get at the JR station here, it's called the Suica, the Tengen sign. And if you get any other line station, it's called Passmo. In Tokyo, the train fare is the same no matter which time you take. It usually starts from around 130 yen, which is about 1 US dollars. In Tokyo city center, it doesn't go higher than 300 yen on the one line, but if you change train company, you need to pay the new fare, even if that is just one station. This is only for foreign travelers, so I cannot purchase. But you have this 24 tickets for 800 yen. 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. The train runs usually from before 6 a.m. to after midnight in central Tokyo. So that is the train system of Tokyo trains, and I hope you enjoyed.